Hey, what is up guys and welcome to DayZ Standalone. Finally the game has been released and it's here for us to try out and have some fun. Now, the one thing to remember, this is the pre-pre-alpha version of the game. It's going to be plenty of bugs, stuff are not going to be going to work properly, but you, can, you get to play it, you get to test it, you get to send back to the devs, you get to tell them what's working, what's not working, and that, more importantly, you get to play DayZ Standalone. Now, how much can you uh, get this for? You can get it for 24 euros. It's 23.99, and I suspect in the US uh, Steam version of the uh, game, it's probably going to be about $30 or so, maybe a little bit more. Uh, in the UK, it's probably going to be 19.99 or 20 pounds or something like that. And there is actually another version that you can purchase for 59 euros, the supporter pack or something like that. I think it's called. I saw that on the uh, Bohemia store. Uh, no doubt they'll probably give you some extra goodies. Now, what do we uh, look forward into Daisy Standalone? Well, we look forward into testing it. What's the first impression? What do I think about the game? I have played quite a bit of the, the original uh, Daisy, the Alma 2 mod. And just coming back into it, I was just looking forward to seeing a whole new Chinaris, a whole new level of fear and a whole new level of uh, the zombie survival apocalypse, what Daisy is supposed to be all about. Now, I've got to say that graphics look really cool, but one of the big drawbacks is the FPS. I'm running an i7-370K with a GTX 780, and I am struggling to get 40, 40, 50 frames. Now, when it comes to towns in Electro, in Cherno, in most of the big towns, I'm getting 20 frames. So, frames have not really been improved. If your computer could barely run Armor 2 back in the day, then you're going to be having a little bit of an issue with this game as well. Now, as you saw earlier on, I did spawn in Kamenka and I made my way up. Usually you'd go Kamenka, Pavlovo, Zelno, and that's pretty much it. You make your way north. But, looks like before you reach Pavlovo, there is a little barrack that you can just go ahead and loot. Now, weapons are going to be a little bit more scarce in this game, and things are a little bit different with the menu. As you'll see, getting inside, there's not really much in here. There should be plenty of weapons. And there should be plenty of stuff about, but the only thing that I'm finding there is obviously a big backpack that holds about 35 slots and a holster for your chest where you can put your pistol. Now, one of the key things to remember in this game is that you really need to check under the beds, on top of the beds. Just make sure when you go into a looted, a high value area that you start looting, just check everywhere because loot does spawn all over the place now. It's just not set to, yes, it's going to be on the floor and you're going to find it. As you'll see right here, you can see there's some clothes on top of the bed right there, and there's a weapon, there's an M4. Luckily for me, there is a weapon there, but unfortunately there is no ammo. Uh, the way you'd get it, you'd look at it, you put that little circle thing on it, and I usually just press the, uh, the middle mouse button and it just picks it up. You obviously can press um, tab and go into the vicinity and vicinity of it and just pick it up and put it in your inventory. It's a little bit like Armor 3 that you need to drag stuff and you need to sort of move stuff around and put stuff in your inventory it feels very different this is the menu you can see you need to put stuff down that you don't want just drop it on the left put some stuff on you whatever you want to wear and whatever you don't need just put it on the left hand side and just drop it you can see there's some boots there all you do is you click it and you take them i don't really need them because there's no point having them uh, obviously different things will make for different scenarios i've noticed there's so many things such as winter clothing summer clothing autumn clothing now i wonder if there's going to be any kind of map changes any kind of weather changes more important is it going to get cold do we going to have some, are we going to have some snow are we going to have all sorts of stuff there you go you can see how easily would have missed that bottle, bottle of water now one of the key things in daisy standalone well the pre-alpha version of it anyway is that you need to drink and eat constantly it is a huge huge issue early on i think it's not a bug i think it's meant to be that way i think it's meant to be a survival uh thing it's meant to make you always be on the run and always be on the lookout for food and drink and all that sort of stuff and just to keep you going all the time just to keep you doing stuff and doing some looting and more looting and just making sure that you are surviving food it is a little bit scarce you don't find that much food around and if you do find you'll find a lot of rotten oranges rotten bananas kiwis and all that sort of stuff 
And you have your tin cans, which is tuna, your baked beans, but in order for you to eat the baked beans and everything that's canned, you need to have something to open it with. Now, that you will find in industrial areas is not really as popular as you may think. It took me quite a while to find an actual can opener, and I did find one, and uh, I, could, uh, I could open my uh, beans and I could open my tuna. Now, graphic wise it looks really cool that that sun really needs a nerf but that's i don't know what's up with the devs these days that they always make that sun really powerful now this is pavlovo there's not really much in this so i skipped going all the way to zelnogos because zelno it's going to be a lot cooler and hopefully things have changed in zelno a little bit more and there we go we've made it to our destination now you know what i am this is the place where the supermarket used to be in that big old car park there was have uh, pretty much nothing in it apart from the uh, supermarket but now things have completely changed in DayZ a hundred percent no longer will you find the supermarket here the supermarket has been moved but you will find three good military barracks two over there uh, two barracks sorry and the uh, building on the left which also spawns military gear now all you need to do get inside start looking around open the open the doors and start looking around hopefully you'll find some decent gear the one i'm looking for is actually i'm looking for some ammo i do have uh, my m4 and i'm really looking forward to picking up some stannans now you can see there there's all sorts of uh, goodies there's matches there's uh, vitamins you've got all sorts of goodies but one of the important things again is you do not start with any bandages so avoid zombies at all costs for now zombies are not that powerful i would say there's quite a few of them but not as many as you'd uh, hope to see there you go. there's a pistol over there i'll go ahead and pick that up uh, there is a few zombies here and there but in the open you don't really see that many zombies you'll find plenty of zombies there we go that's my stanag over there beautiful now i'm armed and dangerous you will find zombies in the cities but not as many as you think you'll find a couple and i suspect this is just because it's a pre-alpha stage and obviously things will change a little bit in the future now as i mentioned earlier on drinking and eating is going to be a big problem for you early on keep that in mind if for some reason you start seeing red messages you see a little message there i feel i feel run down i feel dizzy i feel lightheaded i feel like i'm gonna vomit actually it does say that as long as the message is in white you are still good to go for a little bit but you need to find food once it gets to the red stage and the messages appear in red, then you're kind of screwed. You really need food and sharpish. You've got a couple of minutes, I'd say five to ten minutes at best. And you need to get food and you need to get drink. Otherwise, you'll go unconscious. And once you go unconscious, that is pretty bad. Uh, you're just going to be stuck in a black screen. And I think the easiest way, rather than waiting, would be a respawn. Now, we did test this last night. We went unconscious. Somebody come up. Same, um, same server couple of friends together working out and there's nothing you could do for me he had medical kit on him he had defibrillators yes you heard me right there's defibrillators in the game now he had all sorts of medical goods and he could not get me back up now this could be just an alpha thing but i would not be able to get back on my feet once i've gone unconscious so keep that in mind unconscious is more or less more or less the death as it is for now anyway if there's a fix for this or if there's something that you could do please let me know in the comments if some of you have figured that out but i have not figured it out just yet so as you can see there's plenty of loot in that building let's go ahead and just load the barracks a little bit and see what we have now obviously these being high value barracks i was really expecting to find some really cool gear and get geared up since there's two of them maybe i didn't get that much in the first one but the second one should give me some decent gear but you'd find that it's not as military as uh, we all remember Daisy from Armor 2. It's gone a little bit more of a survival game, and that's what Daisy for me used to be back in the day. And I think this game is going back to the original roots. There's so many things in Daisy standalone now that it's unbelievable. There's wrenches, there's spanners, there's you need batteries to power your um, to power your flashlight. There's a head flashlight that you can have. Uh, all sorts of attachments that you can attach to your gun you can have a scope you can have a suppressor you can have a bullet in your magazine if you're in your chamber if you want to there is so many things that they've added in and i'm pretty sure all of them will have a use i mean you know in daisy 
Armor 2 mod used to have quite a lot of things that made no use, such as toilet paper and razors and all sorts of stuff like that. Now you do need pretty much everything that you can find. There's gloves, there's a bit of everything. Helmets, you'll find bike helmets, you'll find all sorts of goodies that will help you along the way. Now as you can see, didn't really find that much in that barrack. I was really hoping to get some uh, some good loot. I'll go and check the, uh, check the other one. I know there's about 25 people on this server, so I am kind of a little bit weary. I don't want to be out in the open because you just don't know how people are going to react. Because the game is early on. Are they really going to be helpful or are they going to just start shooting at you early, early on just to get your gear and see what you have? Maybe you have something better than him. Now, there is no shortage of backpacks. You can see there's plenty of backpacks going around. And also, there's plenty of M4s. I must have seen about two or three M4s at this stage. But the ammo is pretty, pretty scarce. You can see there's a rotten apple. Now, I have had rotten apple. I've had rotten banana. There's a canteen. I have had all that. And it kind of makes your stomach, stomach go a little bit funny. My stomach grumbles. You get all sorts of messages. You can see there again. I need a drink. I'm feeling hungry. You'll get plenty of them. You don't really need to drink straight away. You can just keep on waiting. But I would say... You would need to drink every 10 minutes, something like that. That's what I found anyway. There's another gun up there. But there is no ammo. And I think that's going to be the case. Ammo is going to be really something that you need to look after. You can't just go ahead and start blasting like you did in DayZ. And I'll just hop into a barrack and a bit. there you go. There's a box with 20 Stanags and 20 Stanags SD. It's just not going to be that case. That's what I'm finding anyway. I have made it all the way to the airfield, which you'll guys see in the next video. And also I have some more footage from my first time logging into DayZ, which was last night. Uh, played that with a couple of friends, had a bit of fun. Bandit tried to kill me. A rescue mission was going on. There was all sorts of stuff going on. And it was at night, so it felt a little bit more scarier and a bit creepier. It just felt weird because the first time that you logged into DayZ standalone, it was dark. You didn't know what's going on. This whole new cities, whole new areas, you couldn't really see that well. I mean, obviously you can turn your gamma up and all that sort of stuff, so you can see. But still, it was pretty cool for the first time that you logged into DayZ, the servers are dark. Now, one of the other things that you need to know is that hives are connected. They're back as they used to be in the old DayZ in Armour 2. Uh, if you move from a server, from a GB server to a French server, then yep, there you go. You're in the same spot, just in a different server. So I suspect it's going to go back to the original state where you do some looting, you have a server where you do your camps, and you're going to have a couple of servers where you play on, and you can always rely on that one server where you have your uh, your gear and your loot to go back into. Now you see there you can pick up clothes, you can split them into rags, and you can use rags as bandages. I'm thinking this is a Karg 98, but it's actually the Mosin. Mosin 9130. So I think DayZ standalone is going to be a whole new different game. It's going to be a whole new experience to the DayZ that we know and love. But again, it's going to go back to the original roots. There is no side chat. You can't just talk to anybody. You can just talk to the people you have on Skype or TeamSpeak if you have uh, any of that installed. You can talk to somebody in the vicinity, which is your direct comms, which is about 50 meters or so. Uh, one of the other cool things about it is that maps, you can no longer just find a map and that's it for the whole of Chinaris. You will find parts of the map. So you'll find a uh, map just for the airfield and a little bit lower, which is Vibor and so on and so forth. Maybe you'll find map for the uh, east airfield. You'll find a map for the coast. So there's maps that go together. They're, they're split into four. So you can have a little bit of a map. Obviously, since we've played Daisy for quite a while, personally, I've never needed a map. I know where I'm going because I've just played it for so, so long that I don't actually need compasses. I don't need maps. I don't need any of that. I just know exactly where I'm going so I can just get there. But I really like the way they've done it and I really enjoy the new, fresh feel of it. Yes, it's going to be an alpha. Zombies going to be a bugged as hell and glitched and they're going to hit you through buildings. As they do with it. there, that's a faggot right there. That's what I mean, that's a bundle of sticks. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, so zombies are pretty glitched out. Uh, FPS is quite a quite a huge issue still. I was really hoping that they're going to stick an engine in there and they will get to actually play Daisy standalone at decent FPS. Like I said, i7 370K with 
a GTX 780 and I'm struggling getting decent frames on normal. So I don't know if I need to go to lower quality, if I need to change some stuff, but I did mess around a little bit with my settings and I didn't really get that much of an improvement. You can get a lot higher quality by putting this to 200%. I'm on 1920 by 1080. You can put it up to, that's 100%, and you can put it to 200% and get a lot better quality. And that looks pretty amazing. But doing that, I have lost about 40 frames just doing that alone. Uh, I don't know how that works, and I suspect this would be something that they'll look at and they'll try and fix it along uh, along the way. So, uh, first impressions of DayZ. DayZ uh, standalone looks really amazing. There's a lot of potential. There's a lot of gear that you need to be uh, getting used to again. And Daisy feels fresh and it feels like a whole new different game. Do I recommend you buy it early on? If you can't wait for the Daisy standalone to actually get a couple of patches and some updates, then do buy it. It's only going to cost you a little bit 23 euros in the EU and about 30 or so dollars in the uh, US. But it is going to be buggy, so keep that in mind. It's going to be a buggy game because this is a pre alpha footage. Now, I have some footage from last night. It's a live comms with a couple of friends of mine. We just had a bit of fun last night on a few servers. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll uh, bring you some uh, airfield footage later on today. I've got that recorded. And uh, that's pretty much it for me. Out. On you. Yeah. So I see a dude. He's got a gun. I'm fucking, I'm going for it. There's nothing up here, Joe. I didn't find it. Oh my fuck, man. It's like a whole city up here. There's, there's a dude up here up with there? a flashlight. You said there's nothing? No, I just saw a dude. I just saw a flashlight running over to investigate. Yeah, that dude, there's all kinds up here. That fucker just shot at me. Take care, man. I need to eat something. Oh. I fucking hit him with my fucking thing. I hit him what? again. I hit him with my shovel, man. A shovel? I, like, I hit him a few times with a shovel. I'm still hitting him. He got a gun on him and everything. Like, he's bleeding and shit. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, no, ah, hold on. Oh, wait a minute, I can take his shit. Quick. I fucking, I think I killed him, dude, with my shovel. You beat him to get the death with a shovel? I think so, yeah, I'm taking his shit now. I guess you're gonna be a bandit as well, Shosho. Well, unless he was a bandit. Take gray head torch. Dude with the Enfield. Get down. Get down with the Enfield. I hear you guys. There you go. Alright, just stay down. We're cool. We ain't gonna shoot you or anything. Just stay cool. Are you by the light? Show show. Alright, do it inside there with a the flashlight. Pull the flashlight firing. away. Stone, is that you firing? Yes, I just shot Joe. I'm very close to you. Jimmy! Yes. Jimmy, just stay are. cool. We're gonna kill you. Don't worry. Do it with a flashlight inside this building. Turn the flashlight off. You just shoot, just shoot into the building. <laughs> He's about me shooting. <laughs> just come out. Jimmy, just get going, man. If you want to go somewhere, just keep going. You cool? Yep, somebody just, somebody just shoot the building really quick. Are you glitched in there or something? I uh, hold on. No, you're out. You're out. You're out. Oh shit! You're back in. Oh fuck. Uh, hold on. You, yeah, I, I can't, I can't get out. Oh, he says he couldn't get out. Yeah, yeah, it's working. You're hitting me. Keep doing that. All right, cool. For no reason. Ah, uh, this is There's no entrance to go down. Dude, there's not really a lot that we can do for you, man. Sorry. Just keep crawling. You, you're probably going to break your leg. Keep trying. Keep whatever. And then eventually work. If not, change servers or something. 
Yeah, dude. See if that Did helps. You... <clears throat> oh. Well, unless you, you oh, just, just come out, I'll shoot you in the fucking head, and that's it. That, at least that will help. How do I? I mean, I can't really. I uh, just get out. I'm, oh, who's yeah, shooting? You can shoot me. Go ahead and shoot me. Are you kind of you're at. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, I killed him. Is he out? Yeah. I think that's it. Oh, he's dead. Okay. You're an evil. F you're an asshole. Sorry, sure, dude. Sure. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Should I just leave his body, body for him. Yeah, just leave, leave his, his body. 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 Yeah, just let him have his gear. Yeah. If, dude, He's if you apple. can, if you're still alive or something, and you can hear anything, then come back for your body. I don't think he can because I'm already getting the. Uh, yeah, he ain't got nothing. Uh, fortunately, I'm gonna have to take his apple because I'm hungry. <laughs> 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 it's survival of the fittest, motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, I wasted precious bullets on him. But I, I get an apple for it. Why not? Okay, where are we going? North. 